All right, maintenance report. Oh my God! Okay, so the next one. All right, again, I'm so sorry. Hey guys, and welcome back to another horror video with your favorite screen queen, the Lava Goddess. And today we are tackling another FNAF VHS found footage where we are going to be watching a police recover tape from the manager's office at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It has been 22 years since it's been ever been seen and we have the chance to watch. So make sure you guys like the video, comment your favorite part that you've seen throughout, your hypothesis and what you think happened and why it happened. And be sure to subscribe for more analog horror, indie horror games, FNAF found footage. We do it all. So let's get started. All right, maintenance report. Oh my God! It has been seven seconds! Seven seconds! We don't need to rewind. We don't need to rewind. I don't want to see that again. So All we have right. that to expect later. So I've managed to finally roll this thing in here, so I guess let's go ahead and get started now. Boss wants me to run through this maintenance report, so hopefully we can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately. Uh, we're also opening a new location. This is a dead here, kid so in it. What's likely going to happen is I'm going to have to strip this thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models. So let's go ahead and see what I need to do first. Let's see here. Movement test. All right, then. We will need as many parts as we can salvage from our remaining animatronics. These may include servos, wires, circuit boards, or pieces from the endoskeleton. Insert the floppy disk titled Animatronic Movement Test Program into the computer to test each of the animatronics' joint movements. Okay, sounds simple enough. All right, let's get the computer on, get this thing hooked up, and let's see how this movement test goes. Let's see. Animal time. Ah, here it is. <coughs> okay, so we're putting a floppy disk in, and we're about to do what we need to do to make sure that it's working properly. Got it. We're doing a maintenance report. Seems pretty simple. Oh my god, look how old this computer is! That is like dinosaur age! Yes. These are so well done. Alright, let's see. Here. It's crazy scary how go good people are to, to make videos first. like this. And then we'll just go down the rest of the body. How did that work? Okay, well Is there like a wire connected like to him that I don't see? Oh, there's a wire. Okay. I'm gonna put this camera down real quick so I can. Huh. That's strange. Why is he looking at you with his mouth ajar? Malfunction. I'm not sure why it's Why is he tilting his head? Okay. Don't turn your back. What is happening? All right. I didn't like that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right. Get it all rebooted, and then we'll pick up where we left off. Okay, so just checking the circuits now on the back of the head here. They might be shorted. These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. Oh, poor Bonnie. Thankfully, I'm not repairing this piece of junk. Don't so call Bonnie a piece of junk. How it is and move on to the next toy. I hope he kills you. Sorry, <laughs> Bonnie has a very soft spot in my all heart. Right, so He's my baby. Oh, do we get to see his ears do little floppy things? Why aren't they moving? Because you insulted him. All right. So if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected to the head. So I guess the ears don't work either. All right. Let's try the arms instead, I guess. How the arms punch you in the face? Okay. That seems to be 
working fine. Okay, okay. At least we can salvage something from the endoskeleton. Yes. So let's try the other one now. All right, we're trying the other arm. Oh, you give me your fingers too? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Bonnie. Damn, okay. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. All of these parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly surprise me. So, I mean, I might be able to Poor salvage the and hand, but I don't know how. Looks like I'll only be able to entirely salvage the left arm, though. Which, I guess, is better than nothing. Damn, this thing stinks. Quit insulting okay. him! So let's go ahead and take off this left arm now before He's just a child, he has feelings. So I can at least salvage something from this thing. All right, so as you can see here, I managed to get the left arm taken off. Took a bit of force and, of course, some know-how, but here it is. And as you can see, the wire I don't like this cut, guy. but still intact enough to be rewired to anything else. So hopefully I'll be able to salvage everything that I haven't tested already. But seeing how easily that right shoulder joint just snapped, I highly doubt it'll be that easy. All right, let's move on to the hips now. Oh, body about to start doing hips don't lie like Shakira. Yeah, body stick it out. Yeah. Man, I mean, this thing might as well just collapse right in front of me. I'm surprised they want me to salvage anything from it at all. All right, let's move on to the legs. <laughs> body kind of poked it out a little bit. Those seem to be working fine. Okay, okay. All right. All right, the legs are working good. I'll probably sign up to those last, though, when I get finished with everything else, because I'll still need this thing standing. Okay, fabric exterior salvaged. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. This means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer as possible. The most important Why does he sound like he's moving? To replicate features such as the head, face, and Are you deaf? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, Bonnie! Uh, why is... Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, forgot to turn the computer off. Woo! Okay, so, uh, anyways... It sounds like I'm just salvaging the exterior layer now. Yeah, you give him that death stare. Yeah, Bonnie. Party for alongside the fabric piece that I actually need. Don't touch his eyeball. Bonnie looked at like him like he was a full Thanksgiving dinner. Bonnie was like, "I'm gonna eat you alive." Why'd you take his eye? All right. With that, that should be everything. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition to that, I also went ahead and took off a foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining exterior pieces that weren't turned up and ruined. So, all of those endo parts along with their exterior pieces can be boxed up and shipped off. All right, so that's about everything I can. I don't like the way he's so looking far. at me without um, eyes. The only thing that I feel very uncomfy. Is giving me a hard time right now is the head plate here. For some reason, it won't budge. And well, yeah. I have no idea why. I've checked for anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. However, I have you tried pressing the, the button? The headpiece specifically, so that means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. I guess Cause I remember security breach. You could just like press a button, like either on his bow tie, or like on like his chest, and it worked. All right. After a bit of force and a few extra cuts, I managed to tear the face off. That's horrifying. There. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head, which is very unusual. So if I were to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. 
but they did make it sound like they only wanted the actual face of the animatronic, so that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. So, we are done with that then. Okay, let's see. Odor report. Okay then. We've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. Well, I wonder why. There's yeah, dead kids these, in front of them. These odors I'm sorry. Have been described as rotten. In them. Yep. Decomposed like something died inside it. Oh. I suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped within its chest. Oh, we're about to see a dead kid. Both of their shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Oh, what the? Damn it! Not again. Oh, the child doesn't want you to see. Huh. I guess the power went out. Yeah, I might have tripped a breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right. Let's go turn the power back on and but we hopefully don't. finish up. What the? Hey! Let me out, guys! This isn't funny! Uh, I guess let me finish up real quick in the dark. Where did, where'd it go? Oh, really? Right now? Come on, come on! Oh, you don't pissed off, Bonnie. What? what the fuck? Why is it? Oh, oh. God. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> I think he deserved it. I think it was warranted. He insulted Bonnie a few too many times and Bonnie showed him what was up. I think there was nothing wrong with that. I think that he deserved it. I really do. And like, have y'all ever thought that like the animatronics can like feel things that are happening because the soul of the child is inhabiting it? So do you think that the child was able to feel everything that was going on? And, like, him taking everything off of his body, just like he was able to hear everything he was saying, like, when he called him, like, smelly and stinky and rusty and just not being very polite towards him whatsoever. And then the sound of the child crying. Creepy. Creepy as hell. Creepy as hell. The ending was great. The whole video was great. I love the maintenance ones. The maintenance ones are the best because we also did the one with Chica and it was terrifying. And this one was just as terrifying. I definitely think that it was the child in there and the child just eventually like boiled over and like attacked him and killed him probably would be my guess. Um, I definitely think that the child could 100% feel what was going on because the soul like inhabits the body. I'm so glad that they said something about the smell because no other VHS or just lore in general really talks about the smell. And I loved that because I've always wanted to know like if there's an odor that comes from these animatronics, like something died in them. And to hear that like made me feel very comforted in my thought process that these things have to stink like something rotten. So that was great. The movement was great. The style was great. The sounds were great. He was a jackass, got what he deserved. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.